My name is Yoshiki Takama, a businessman working in the food industry. Currently, I live with my mother, Atsumi, while my father is working abroad. Yoshiki, you're working in the night shift today, right? That's right. I'm leaving at 10 p.m. I know it hasn't snowed yet, but be careful not to fall. Thanks, Mom. I'll be careful. After the conversation, I left home for work. Huh? I thought the forecast said it wasn't going to snow today. I bet the road will be covered with snow by the morning. I started to worry about my return home. By the time I got to the factory, the snow was around an inch in height. Oh, hey, Takama. Oh, hey. Taking a break? Did you see the snow outside? The forecast said it wasn't going to snow. Right? I was caught by surprise, too. I bet it's going to suck when I go home. I know. It's probably going to take over an hour trying to navigate the road today. I hate it when it snows. Not to mention having to plow the snow afterward. Right? Going back home after the night shift only to take out all the snow in front of my garage. I just want to take a break after work, you know? Last year, I had to stay up all day after work just to take out all the snow. I was about to cry that day. That sucks. I just hope the snow stops by the end of our ship. Yeah. I agreed with Kozakai's sentiment. I held high hopes for the snow to end during the shift. <sighs> I guess my prayers didn't work. The snow didn't stop at all. What's up with this traffic? The road hasn't moved for a while. I was starting to stress out over the long traffic jam. After an hour of driving, I finally returned home. Finally. Home sweet home. I was relieved that I could return home from that traffic. However... Huh? What's going on? All the snow was in the garage! It was like nothing I'd ever seen before! This couldn't have occurred naturally. Is there a prankster in the neighborhood? I'm going to find out who did this! I felt even more stressed out. It took me 30 minutes to clean up all the snow in the garage. I'm... back. What happened? You look like you're about to die. I was cleaning up the snow... in the garage. Huh? What do you mean? I thought I had taken out all the snow around the house. Really? I'm just going to ask this to make sure, but... Did you put all the snow in the garage? Of course not! How would that even benefit me? You're right. Why would you even ask me that? Well, there was actually a lot of snow in the garage. It was so much work, cleaning up all the mess. Are you serious? Yeah. I bet it was some kid in the neighborhood who was trying to prank us. Hmm, I don't think a child will be able to do it alone. There's no way a grown adult would do that. Right? Honestly, I was too tired at the time to find out who did it. That day, I just took a bath and decided to rest. Good morning. You look tired. Are you sure you can work in that condition? I'm fine. If I work today, I can take tomorrow off. Are you sure? Just make sure you're not pushing yourself too hard. Okay. I'm going to go turn on the car's engine. I decided to turn on the car early, so it warmed itself up. What? Why is there snow here? I was dumbfounded by the amount of snow left in front of the door. What the hell? Why is there a pile of snow here? I had no idea why this was happening to me, but I didn't have the time to think about it because I had to leave for work immediately. I took a shovel from the house and started taking out the least amount of snow to leave quickly. However... What? Who would do this? There was snow in the garage again! I turned the car on and took out all the snow as fast as possible. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Are you okay? You look like you're about to die. Can you believe it? Someone piled snow on my front door and the garage. I had to shovel snow after work and before work. What? Did a kid want to prank you or something? I'm not sure. I'm still looking for the culprit. It might be the work of a prankster or just an inconsiderate neighbor. That person probably lacks some profound common sense if it was a neighbor. Do you have anyone in mind right now? No. This was the first time something like this had ever happened. Do you have any new neighbors around the block? Let me think. Oh, I know! There was this new person. I believe they went by Katagami. Have you ever talked to them? I think I said hi once, but that was it. He didn't seem like someone who would do this. You can't be so sure. I once had a neighbor that would hang around at my front door for some odd reason. He looked like a normal person, but he ended up being a stalker. I see. Anyone can be a bad neighbor. Yeah, so you can't be sure whether your new neighbor's a good person. Can you talk to him afterward? Alright. 
Thanks for the advice, Kozakai. I decided to listen to my co-worker's advice, and doubted my new neighbor. Again? And they even put a snowman in front of my garage! They can't be serious! After returning home from work, I saw that the snow was already being piled in front of my house again. They even thought to add a snowman to anger me! It took me 30 minutes to clean up the snow and the snowman. <sighs> Finally, I'm done. Good morning, Mr. Takuma. Good morning. Did you also have a pile of snow in front of your garage? What? You mean you also had snow piled in front of your house? That's right. I have no idea who would do such a thing. I think our culprit is the new neighbor, Katagami. Oh, hey, Mr. Kondo. Sorry for barging in on the conversation. I had the same thing happen to me, too. Really? Yeah. They even went as far as to pile all the snow in my garden and make igloos in front of my door. I was so furious when I saw the igloos. Did someone want to make me live in the igloos or something? That's awful! You too? I had large snowballs around my front door. Whoever's doing this has to stop! What about you, Yoshiki? What did they do to your place? Oh. They piled a bunch of snow inside my garage and in my front door, so I couldn't go home until I cleared all the snow. This morning, they even went as far as making a snowman just to make fun of me. Damn. Whoever's doing this is trying to get a rise out of us. I know how you feel, but we must stay calm. By the way, you said this must have been the work of Katagami. Do you have any proof? I can't say I'm 100% certain, but I'm pretty sure they did it. But first of all, Mind if we have this conversation somewhere else? It's freezing out here. Sure. We can talk at my house. We decided to continue the conversation at my house. So, why do you think Katagami did all of this? Well, I stayed up a little longer to find out who was doing this. I found two people who resembled the Katagami husband and wife walking around at night. I tried following them, but it was too cold out, so I couldn't follow them any further. If that story is true, it will make a lot of sense. Why? Well, I heard the husband of the two actually worked in civil engineering, but due to the weather, he has no active jobs. Oh, that would make so much sense. I'm not following. He's probably bored out of his mind, so he pranks his neighbors for fun. I see. You're right. Whoever's doing this shouldn't have any spare time to prank others. That's right. And this sort of work can only be done by a professional. Think about it. Who would be able to move this much snow in such a short time? You're right. Honestly, I don't think I have the stamina to do all of it. Same for me. But what if this person is already versed in these types of exercise? You're right. Now that we had our prime suspect, we decided to hatch a plan to catch the two red-handed. What do you think we should do? Hmm. Maybe we can ask the neighbors if they've experienced similar things to us. They might be able to help us patrol the night. That's a good idea, but are you sure we can find other victims? You're right. What if we ask the town chairman about this? That's also going to be hard. We'll need more proof for our chairman to act. Right. Then we'll need to get proof by staying up late to catch them. Yeah. We eventually decided on a rotating lookout system. If we found them, we would report to each other. It's already 1am? It's so cold and dark. I was scheduled to look out from 1 a.m. per our plan. According to Kondo, he found the Katagamis moving snow at around 0 a.m., so he suspected them of acting a little later today. I guess they don't prank the neighbors every day. I guess they're not coming today. And it's freezing out. After an hour, it was time for me to switch places with Kondo. K Kondo? I it's me! Oh, hey, Yoshiki. Any updates? Nothing so far. I see. I know it's freezing out. Let's switch. It's so c cold. I waited for Kondo to switch places in this freezing weather. A few minutes later, he came out of the house with a hot drink. Here you go. I hope this will help. Thank you so much. I immediately drank the hot tea. Phew. I feel alive. All right. Let's swap. I got up to get some rest, but... Wait! Yoshiki! Did you hear something? Huh? Wait. I think I hear something! Suddenly, we saw two silhouettes walking towards us. Kondo and I immediately hid behind some boxes. Time for a workout, babe! 
I have to move my body so I don't get stiff when I resume work. Yeah, and last morning, that was so much fun. Did you see that idiot Yoshiki? He looked like he was gonna cry while shoveling the snowman. Did they call me an idiot? Don't they feel bad for doing all this? Yoshiki, this settles it. We both took our phones and started taking photos of their act. We wanted them to continue, as they'll try to hide all proof if we confront them. After we took all the proof we needed, we called Sato and confronted the Katagami wife and husband. Hey, what are you two doing this late at night? Huh? You're, uh, uh, oh, Kondo! And it's that it, Yoshiki! We're just working out. Is anything wrong with that? I see. So shoveling snow onto other people's property is considered working out? Are you accusing us of something? So you're still playing dumb. Even if I show you this? Damn! You were recording us?! After showing the evidence, their demeanors changed. So what? We could just say we're shoveling around the neighborhood to help out. What? Are you seriously saying that? You call that helping out? You're doing it to harass others! What? Who the hell are you? Shut it! What's with your attitude, huh? You shut up! It's not even that bad! We're just trying to do some workouts! Are you serious? You don't feel an ounce of remorse for what you've done? Why would we feel bad? Aren't you guys adults? Stop being so pissy about this! The two didn't even care about others. That was when I had enough with the Katagamis. Do you have a minute? So you're telling us you won't stop your little snow prank, right? That's right. You got a problem with that? So you're okay with the same thing happening to you guys, right? Why wouldn't we? We're not overdramatic adults like you guys. Afterwards, the two left the vicinity with smiles. That was the last straw for us. What the hell? We can't leave the house! What do we ever do to deserve this treatment? I also informed the town's chairman with photo evidence. People around the neighborhood also said they had the same problem. That's when we collectively decided to dump all our snow next to the Katagami house. Since then, whenever there was snow, they faced the consequences of their actions. Eventually, it got so bad that the Katagami husband and wife had to move to a different town. Hey, Yoshiki. You've got to be tired from the night shift. Hey, Kondo. Are you headed off to work? Be careful. Thanks. I'll make sure to watch the road. Now, thanks to our work, the neighborhood found peace once again. I guess our hard work did pay off.